Jacqueline Tobes here, and today's design is electric shock nails. Here's what you'll need for this design. Let's get started. I started off with two coats of white polish and a fast drying top coat because we're about to go into a gradient. Okay, to get the desired gradient effect, I had to separate the colors into just two colors a piece. First I started off with the two lighter colors, the two top colors, which are the yellow and the blue. After about two coats, I move on to the next set of colors, which are blue and purple. And then finally the last set of colors, which are purple and black. When I apply the purple and black, I try to apply it in a V-shaped motion. Concentrating most of the black on the tip and somewhat up the sides of the nail. Just a little bit though. Earlier when I took this regression tape, this is the part that I was talking about. When I removed the tape, I didn't really like the effect that the tape had on my nail. So I added a little bit more yellow to the area. Then I finished off with a top coat to smooth out the design. Okay, so now here's where the electric shock comes in. I wasn't going for electric shock nails. It just happens to turn out that way. Now we're going to add about four or five squiggly lines per nail, coming from the white portion and working the way down in like a V shape where the long is in the middle and the sides are tapered. Lastly, we'll add a triangle stud to the nail and finish off with a top coat. And now we're finished. Thanks for watching.